Wow, you really jam all the cards into one. More Pikachu! Woo! Oh my gosh, look at this! This is a top loader itself. It is so pretty. Yes, this is for myself! Welcome back guys, welcome back to the channel. Make sure to like and subscribe it. And when you find something you like, make sure to comment on it as well. Today, we want to go through some very, very special meal day packages that is right in time on the hype of, well, Chang Fates. Uh, I believe you've already seen a lot of people doing the unboxing. So I my unboxing is going to be a bit different, rather it's more on the fact that it just arrived. <laughs> so today I want to go through some of the things that I've got and perhaps, you know, inside there is something that I will unpack right now. So let's get into it. The first up I want to show you guys is this pretty wow! pretty cool uh, package that came straight from Japan. Okay, so this one is very special because inside I believe has a lot a lot a lot of Pikachu <laughs> so these days I've been really looking into Japanese and English cards right doing a bit of comparison and then just talking to people in general and I realized that the Japanese packs people are starting to get into it you know most of the time is because well number one they're cheaper number two the quality is honestly better because you have to understand the English cards they take their design from the Japanese side so this is new it's like a whole box of like the peanuts and then this. I don't know what this is. I don't think this is what I think it was. Yeah, it's just packaged in a very interesting way. This is the first time I've seen this. There you go. So as you can see, <laughs> it's like a little special handpicked packages, but as you can see, there's a lot of, lot of cards here. I'm gonna try and lay them out one by one. But most of them, if I'm correct, are all Pikachus. <laughs> yes. As you can see, these are the astonishing Vault Tech. I can't remember the English of it, but yeah. So basically someone came to me and said, Hey, I want, and I kid you not, a hundred of these. Like literally like a hundred, like 50-50 each. So a hundred of it. So I was like, okay, you know, why not? But that is also a Pikachu. So also as you can see, there's a lot of it. I believe this is one as well. Yeah, this is a bit crazy. But let me just put them all out here. Wow, you really jammed all the cards into one. What do we have here? And we got more Pikachu. Woo! <laughs> Oh, he even gave me some hollow red, so that's very really nice. Wow, very nice of him. So as you can see, there are more, a lot of it. I'm not gonna obviously open one by one to show you guys all of it, but I do want to show you guys this one. Beauty. Well, I can't remember the Japanese English translation, but in English it's the battle style. There's a battle style in Japanese. They have a promo going on. So when you buy two booster box, you get one of these. The value of this alone is actually like, well, technically two booster box worth. The value have been skyrocketing on its own. Anyway, as you can see, more Pikachu. So I'm just gonna stack them. Oh, look at that. This is so cute. It's adorable. Pinamugi. <laughs> So, interest as you can see into the Japanese side, but I believe that this has always been there. It's just that it's now amplified. Uh, I mean, like Shining Fate is, uh, I believe like last week of sort, but you know, like it's already out of stock for months, way ahead of time. So I have this one here, which is packed up pretty weirdly. Let's see what we get here. Oh, there you go. And as well, Pikachu, woo, look at this beauty. Let's see. Condition. Oh, I can see a little ding. I you can see it. There's one little ding up there. Yeah, this is absolutely adorable. I wanted to get the box. I honestly wanted to get it. When it came out, I was thinking, ah, oh, should I buy, should I buy? And then before I know it, it was already finished. I was like, wow. This is another one. Um, they really like to do this. They, they like to give you false hope. <laughs> like giving you the pack, I'm just joking. Oh, hey, look at that. It won't give me the Coke card. All right, there you go. Uh, give me a boss order as well. Three, two more Coke cards, but hey, yeah. Another kind of the Pikachu and Hollow boss order. I mean, yeah, sure, why not? I'll take it. We have here more Pikachu and more random bulk cards. So they they just like giving you bulk cards. So anyway, so as you can see, all this bulk of Pikachu's on the side. Yeah, these these all these Pikachu's already ordered. Is that one guy who said like I want a hundred? <laughs> so for Pikachu, so for collection sake, I'm like okay, sure. Yeah, this one's nice. Okay. Yeah, my personal goal for these are obviously I'm gonna send them to great, and I'll probably keep one or two. You know, if, I, if I'm lucky enough to get a PSA 10, I feel like it's time that I grow my collection more into PSA 10s because I see the value of it growing and growing. And as you can see, Pikachu. Yeah, let's see what's behind. More Pikachus. So this should be the same just for curiosity's sake. Let's double confirm. Yes, it is indeed. More Pikachu Kanazawa. Kanazawa Pikachu. Uh, yeah, sorry, I wanted to get more graded 
collection. So on YouTube, as you may have noticed, Logan Paul is back at it again, which is funny because I actually started getting into uh, Pokemon because of well him when he made his first video, and I was like, I was honestly stunned, and to see this huge surge of demand going to Pokemon and I was like okay you know let's check this out and I was like wow there's a community and it's thriving and people are like telling me oh no uh, in Malaysia there isn't much of a community no <laughs> I mean there's a pretty fine community you know it's just alive and it's very quiet honestly it's a very quiet community but it's very much alive more Pikachu. <laughs> so I got one special one here. I want to show you all. This is special order, as you can see. The top loader is like so big. <laughs> and this is a Charizard uh, Reshiram, a Reshiram Charizard Golden. This comes from the All Star uh, tactic. Someone bought this and he wanted to get it graded, which I totally agree. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I believe that graded Japanese cards is going to be the way to go. I'm not going to take it out of the top loader because um, it's not mine and I want to keep it as pristine as possible. I'm going to check the condition real quick. Condition looks great. Honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. This is absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I can have one of these graded and just like kept. I, I would keep it. Like honestly, like these days, like if I come across anything rare or really, really something special, I would keep it more than like sell it off for profit because it's just like being a part of it you know it's really something special when you get to be a part of it more pikachu <laughs> oh my gosh look at this wow I, I i didn't even notice this thing okay wait wait let me let me get this thing out this is there something in here oh there is oh wow i really like japanese uh, pokemon stuff because they always have this like little, little souvenirs little, little like thank you oh look at that wow see this is what i'm talking about look at that it's so pretty so I believe this is one of the sort of like a postcard or a welcome card that you can get. I'm not very sure uh, when you're there. Pokemon Center opening. So this is absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Here, okay, as you can see, Pikachu, 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 and not Pikachu. <laughs> okay, what do we have? We have beauty on beauty on beauty on beauty. <laughs> yes, I got five. I believe I got a little bit more than five, but yeah. So I got a lot of the, the, the trainer cards and boom, look at this one, Coco and Panazole Pikachu. This is a nice pack, it's a very, very nice pack. And this, I'm gonna need to take out very carefully because I don't know what's behind. There's one more card here, we'll open this one before I open the rest of it. I'm honestly surprised at how well like Japanese people, they pack their cards, like how well these are also packed up and so clean. Oh, and beauty again. So this should be three. Oh, they're stuck together. Yeah, there you go. So there's three of them. Yeah, so go. I got quite a bit of these because um, I'm gonna. I, I plan to get them graded as well, and just hold them, hold on to them because I just like it, and I think I got value. And yeah. Let's see what we got behind this small guy here. Another coke cart, and it's a Kanazawa Pikachu. Ah, nice. I really miss the boat on getting these at a cheaper price. I think when it came out, it was like $20 per. Now I'm buying about like $20 to $30, which I still think is a very, very fair price. This is a, I'm not very sure what this is. Oh, it's, oh wow, it's, it's oh, it's a top loader. This is a top loader itself. Wow, okay. And we have a lot of stickers here. Oh, these are stickers. And we have two cards here. I don't know what these are. And we got two more. Oh hey, comedian Pikachu! Nice! Yeah, <laughs> I, I believe this all came in as like a set thing. Yeah, I remember now. So obviously the main goal was to get Kanazawa Pikachu, but I saw that it went with this comedian Pikachu. I was like, okay, you know what, let's get it together. And stickers, and I believe this is another one of the postcards. Let me just get out real quick. And boom, this is another one. Look at this! Wow! It is so pretty. I need to find a way to put this up. Because this is very, very pretty. You know, I have to be honest, I, I was never really a cute, cute guy kind of a perspective. But, you know, after I went through all this, I realized that this is actually a Mewtwo Strike Back binder that came from Pizza Hut. <laughs> so, okay, cool. So, yeah, apparently Pizza Hut in Japan, they did a thing that gave this out to you. Wow, this, this is really cool. I'm gonna use this. I don't know for what. I don't really use paper anymore, but yeah. <laughs> oh la la. As you can see, it is yet another, another picture. Right, I have this. 
I've never seen this before. I think it's quite old. Yeah, but there is one thing that I don't like. Sometimes they don't sleeve their cards and I'm a bit scared. Is there any? Is there any? Oh no, yeah, I see it. Right there. Oh, down here as well. Oh no, yeah, this is... Ah, oh, that's a bit sad. <laughs> I mean that's a thing as well, you know, like they don't put up the whole the, the whole protection, like they don't have to sleeve up. So hey look at that. I believe this is a, like a mini poster for Me Too Strikes Back. We have this piece and I believe it's an art piece, much like the postcard vibe. Let me see like this. Oh <laughs> I'm sorry. It's double on both sides. <laughs> yeah, by the way, just a tip for y'all who does packaging. Consider using uh, cling wrap. These things are great, like, honestly. So let's see what's behind. Okay, there's nothing. <laughs> there's absolutely nothing. <laughs> what is this? Oh, wait, wait. oh, is it this? Really? Was that for this? I don't know. But if it is. I mean that was that was very extra. Even I myself, it's the first time seeing it. But yeah, it's a hundred Pikachu's. I'll probably have to stack them up properly later on. Yeah, so just taking all these random wrappers out so that it looks nicer on the can. <laughs> so, a hundred Pikachu promo card from the amazing Vault Tackle. Well, that, here's another stack. <laughs> And they've already been purchased, like all of these are purchased by someone. I usually don't like the idea of like buying inventory and just holding it up. I usually order things when there's already a, a demand. I don't hold out on it for too long because I, I really don't like holding out. So that's for the Japanese side. So I'm gonna quickly clean things up for our English side because that box is literally 10 times bigger. I'm not joking. So I'm just gonna clean this up real quick. Okay, so now let's get into the big guy. Okay. Oof. Every time it's a huge box. So let me see if I can fit it into the frame. Oh. Yeah, obviously it's not gonna work. <laughs> Hold up. There's a problem with having too many things wrong. I'm gonna just keep it down here and I'll just like take it out. Okay. Because it's quite a lot of stuff as well. Alrighty then. So random. This is what's important. There you go. Shining Fate. Uh, Shining Fate. <laughs> Shining Fate Pikachu V box. Very nice. Four packs per box. So we have one, two, and three of these. Very nice. And then one case of it. Another case of it. So we actually have two case plus three. One case is about six. So it's about 15 Pikachu V box. And tins. Shiny Fate. Shiny. What? What's wrong with my mouth? <laughs> Shining Fates tins. Okay, got a grass, boat hand, cramaran. So let's trade them. So this is, I don't know what to feel about this, but this is basically free pack <laughs> that came from the, the seller. I don't know what to feel because I mean, it would be great if it's like, I don't know, at least champion path, but it crimson invasion. So I don't know if I even want to bother opening it. And finally, a Shining Fate ETB. Yes, this is for myself. There you go. Look at that Pikachu face. <laughs> I wonder why the eyes is like, like, like what's up? It's so funny. Like, don't you? That's such a meme face. <laughs> I'll be very honest. He looks so meme in this. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff on the table yet again. Uh, all of these are already ordered. This ETB is for myself, so I am actually contemplating on whether I should open it. Mainly because I would love to open it and enjoy the cards. But at the same time, people are going so nuts so about this. So like, should I just like keep it instead or I don't know. I would like to collect the cards. So I believe that I will indeed open it in the next video. And let's see if I can pull a Charizard. I mean, I pulled the Ditto V Max Shiny from the Shiny Star V, the Japanese version of this already. So it'd be kind of nice if I can pull the Ditto again from the English one. It'd be very nice. All right, so that's the end of this video. We will go to the next video where I will open this Shining Fate ETB. All right, so make sure to like, subscribe, 
comment what you like so far as you can see like is it the Pikachu Shining Fates or is it the Japanese uh, Pikachus, the Kanazawas or even Beauty Full Art do you believe that Full Art Trainers will be the next big thing is it going to be the next Charizard make sure to leave your comment down below and I would love to hear from y'all take care have a great week ahead and see you next time